So basically what you should do in the event of a fire, is basically you should go out for the nearest fire exit and go to the fire assembly point, which is in the car park, basically. Thereafter, you just need to listen and follow to your teachers, basically. Uh, not go back into the building and basically not leave campus. You just got to save teachers and follow instructions. Dude. So each building on campus has a refuge point in the building, which are green panels on the wall. So basically, if you're in one of these points, you press the point and it'll come up flashing from the refuge point. That links down to reception, which basically it means reception will know that this refuge point has went off, that people are stuck in this part of the building. So basically, we will then have to tell the fire brigade that you need to go up to this point of the building and get the people that are trapped in that part of the building. Um, I think Open College has always been aware of fire and safety. I think it's always been a high priority. Uh, and it's just even harder. Well, it's just a high priority, basically. And we want to keep on making sure that it is a top priority and keep on doing, putting measures in place that will prevent fire from the prevent fire from hurting the college. So the college has implemented a few things. Um, so around the general areas, there's now fashion beacons for um, deaf people. So sometimes we hear the fire alarms. To us, that's fine, but when deaf people can't hear them. So beacons with this flash in main corridors now. Uh, teachers and senior management team have been given a bit more responsibility on what to do in a fire. And uh, this emergency procedures have been put in place. And basically now every staff member has a fire action card, basically of what they should do in the event of a fire. 